it's me again. I'm doing a little update of where I am. So busy lately. Uh, I've been on holiday to Italy. Road trip number two this year. Ridiculous. So I won't go any holidays this year. So um, I need to get cracking with this. Um, finish this brew chef. Get it, get it bloody brewing. So I'm going to tell you where I am now. And then I'll see a couple of more updates in the next couple of weeks. And I'll be bloody brewing. If I'm not, I'm going to bloody beat myself up with a big stick. So, got the three kegs in place. Or, right. Boiler, mash gun, HLT. Uh, that's where we're going to go. I have got a sink in place. You can see there, the sink. Got, oh, mod cons. Running cold water, there you go. I need hot water, I've got a kettle, so I'm just filled sink. Uh, got a telly. Works. There you go. Don't know who does work. There you go. There you go. Sorry. Um, and I've also got. Let me move this. Anyway, I've got the. Three kettles to build, yeah. Um, so I've got one right, of that. There is the herb system. Right. So that's the system. So anyway, pump. Uh, that's the outlet that drains. Three kilowatt immersion. Let me uh, get this sleeve off. That's a three kilowatt immersion. Yet. I haven't connected it up yet. Um, I've got to connect it all, the ball up. Um, header tank. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a coloured ping pong ball in there so when it floats up, so as you can see when it's, when it's nearly full. I don't want to fill it to halfway really. Uh, the plate chiller. Um, the only issue I have got it with it is the plate chiller is hard to fill. So, what I've done, I'm going to oh, yeah. turn it off, that's the drain. Then I start to fill. That really work. It worked first time, but and I fill. It fills slowly. So you can go ahead and take it. It's, uh, it's dirty at the moment. I'll put it out. What I want to get is th two thirds full. I want to. I want to fill. Cold water. It's not going to be cold, is it? Because it's uh, coming out the hose. And I'll turn it off, and that fills then through the plate chiller. Pushes all the air out, hopefully. There you go, there's the air, air coming out of the plate chiller now. I'll fill in the header tank. That's completely open. Excuse me, big learning curve this. Uh, right, in theory. There they come out. Right. I'll turn the pump on. Let's see if it's got air in. Bit of a problem, I might have to adapt some of the pipe work. Let me drain it a little bit and I'll know to what level it's full. Right then, I fill. I only need to fill it once each brew, so I drain it each time, but I'll find out how to do it. I think it'll be a bit rough, but then it, it does push all the air through. The rest of the air coming out now. Let's see if that's full. Stop 
Make sure you let the race of air out. Put the cock up right there. What I need is to drain it. This is a total farce. See that? Bloody amateur I am. Bloody amateur. Well, if I turn that valve off, turn it off, that should force, that's an idea, the air out of the I'm going to show you, excuse the pile of shite, because uh, it is a fine shite, with a HLT over. <coughs> Water solenoid, uh, it's, it's a bit of a fucking stupid thing, I know, but you know what? Water solenoid, Water solenoid, £2.70 on by the e-rate, about a month to come from China. Um, a, a, a valve is about five quid, so half the price, but you know what? Let's just do that. So, got a water solenoid coming out into a spout and then got a button there there we go, there you go. There you that. good don't it <laughs> that's just that's the height of laziness that is a freaking height of laziness the PID's flashing away. Um, I've got to uh, click the uh, temperature sensor up. All the wiring's around. So as soon as the keg, get the temperature sensor says kicked up, and then uh, I'm going to auto tune them. Let's see how this is doing. Always found angle, bloody gadget tree. I think the plate chiller. I think the plate chiller. It's been mounted sideways and then up uh, and then up, pipe up, and then. I think that pipe's a problem. Up right there. Um, this is a pump water through. Yeah, I think that's a problem. Right. Um, that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. Um, I've adapted it. I've adapted the herms, and so far, so good. It's not pretty, you'll be on the piss of it. So, I'll put the um, plate tuner on its side, because obviously before the air, if you had this was up, that was just going in, yeah, it was just trapping it, not going down. So like this, bills going up there, obviously vents down there, and the other side, we went through there. So, I'm gonna give it a test. See what happens, let me uh, close the old drain cock. Also, I've got a, um, Half a Coke can as a, this is a sort of a visual thing so I can see when the, when it's getting far. So this, this way, it's filling both ways at the same time, so in theory, should push the air out. Especially that is on a bit of a slant anyway, so that's, the yeah, air should come up that way. So hopefully, that should start coming up. There we go. So I think there we go. Do, 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 do. So I'll fill it. It's good that my visual thing. So turn on and see what happens. There's no air in there. Yippee, yippee, kaye. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. So it's not pretty, I might have to shorten that tube. But then again, it's not a nice angle, so the air will go 
up like that. I've put this in as well, just so I can control the flow. I thought that I'll actually control the actual flow of the thing. I've got that ball valve there, but I don't think that'd be very accurate. So, or very, yeah. So this way I could just slow it down. Just if, I mean, three kilowatt element it should be fine. But I mean, if it's not um, heating it fast enough, then obviously then you won't get the uh, the heat into the water. But I, I think I get about two liters in that system. So say we're like a, a coil in a keg, you got heat twenty liters. More responsive, I would say. Um, and the thermocouple will be in the mash tun for this the PID and then um, yeah that's it so literally control it from the mash tub fingers crossed eh that's working fine nice and quiet drain it down the coke can all empty straight down the system each time and obviously I can if I do want to clean it I can stick some some sort of caustic down there or anything like that put it in and then fill it and also then run it around and drain it and drain it again so there could be a small tail here this is going to be the inlet for the herms obviously so then yeah there won't be any air in the system so i'm going to put a small tail there and then return um so i'm going to work returning it into the mash tun so i might just put it upright I might actually put a swivel, so then I could do it with the boil kettle and the cooling as well. Hey, nah. No, no, I just want a disc. I want a disc egg. Anyway, so that's that. So, one other thing I was concerned about, plate chiller, was obviously getting any particles in it. That was a major problem, really. I don't want any particles in the actual plate chiller. So, I acquired off eBay. A witch's hat <laughs> but I mean, you can see how fine that that mesh is I don't know if I'll go that far enough but anyway that is very fine it's stainless steel it's food grade it's also it's used it's backed up with a uh, stainless mesh so what I'm thinking in the mesh tun the top I don't know, 10 inches I'll go take this one, mate. I'll get into melt, weld a plate on the bottom of it, cut it off, weld a plate on the bottom, and also use the rest of it in some way in the um, boil kettle. So uh, I won't get any sort of any, any proteins or anything like that, or even hops into the into the thing. So I don't want anything in there. Well, you can back flush it, but I mean it's only a crappy old thing. So yeah, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, so this is on my filter. I don't know where you can see it, that is. If you see the mesh, you can see the holes on the background, back here. The actual mesh itself is bloody ridiculously small. So yeah, grand total of £4.50 on eBay. It's called, I don't know, I can't see that. It's like a strainer. So yeah, I'll be that. So that's what it is so far. I've got also, yeah. Extractor for boil kettle in, and also, you can see, there's extractor up there as well. That's possibly for the room to shed, it gets warm. So, that's got. So, that's to be boiled. That's at an angle as well. So, any moisture, any condensation within the pipe, it will drop downwards and outside. Uh, that's all in. We've got two, two extractors. Um, the, uh... <laughs> oh, uh... So you can actually put in, I suppose really, yeah, you can actually do a, a late date, a, some sort of, oh, what, 20 litres? That's fine. Fix the solenoid. It's getting there. So, yeah, couple of weeks, couple of weeks. Oh. Yeah, uh, another thing, I went to um, the Great British Beer Festival. I went to Italy. Come back Monday night, I went to the Great British Beer Festival and I met up with um, Harry Brew 69 and New Home Brew Tom 
and what a freaking day. We were chooching as they call it. We were chooching beer like the, no nobody but nobody's business. But yeah, it was uh, it's a bloody good day. We had a crack. Tried a lot of beers. Some great. The uh, cherry lambic. Oh, lovely. I think to me that was my best beer. Um, but there was some friggin' awful ones as well. Ginger stout. Oh my god. It tastes like ginger or stout. It was bloody awful. Um, so I'll stick a bit of footage up here now. Jump, eh? uh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> don't jump! Pain, don't jump! Your round. That's your round. Uh, fuck you. It's your round. Don't jump yet. You fucking jump, son. Fucking landing prices. <laughs> yeah. Did you see that Japanese man? Six quid a burger. Don't jump, 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 jump. A drunken old man going down a pub. We're all like, whoa, 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 don't say oh, oh, what's the post? I got that. That's the way to do it. Walk away, walk away. Have you? These two, they don't love each other really much. <laughs> <laughs> That's not first time, mate. Get rid of it. It sticks it back at teeth. Oh, nice. I think I've got some fucking sinew in. Chewy. I'm fucking sinew. Where are we going? <laughs> are we walking to, to, oh, the, to the pub or the bloody oh, tube station? Yeah. Oh, great. It went a lot to be honest, but I was told to be drinking. I'm not as I'm a bit more self self conscious regards having a bloody talking to a bloody camera walking around bloody Olympia in London. Not like them two, they just they just get on with it. Anyway, I'll get there one day. But yeah, uh, great day and I wanna meet up with them again soon because they were they were a laugh. They were a laugh. Um I wanna get up to Harry Bruce. He's invited me up to his uh his place to have a look sometime, so hopefully this year we'll get up there and uh, either do a brew or um do some more drinking, what I do best. Anyway, I'm gonna love you and leave you, and uh, I'll see you lot very, very soon with some updates, and I wanna get this bloody lot finished. I'm, I'm, I'm happy now the Herm system will be working. Um, I'm glad I knocked it about, because I weren't happy with it. I don't like any airing system, especially with free court on the element in there, you don't want any air if the pub's not working, for whatever reason, boil off, and it was there, yeah. I'm knacker it. So yeah, fingers crossed, couple of weeks brew. I'll do a brew day. Uh, well, I'm going to do a couple more updates before then, but I'm going to do, I'll do a brew day and see how it goes. But uh, fingers crossed. See you soon.